Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over how to care for canaries and finches. I've been getting a lot of requests to do this video, so hopefully this video today helps you with your birds. I'm Megan with Happy Tails Pet Care and I'm a professional pet expert and nutrition consultant. My goal is to educate people about animals and help pet owners provide the best care to their beloved pets. See a pet in my video you like? Let me know and I will feature that pet in more videos. These are some of my canaries that I have put in their travel cage so that you can see them during this video. Canaries are originally from the Canary Islands and they've been a popular pet since the 17th century. And there are tons of different species of finches that are commonly found in the pet trade. Finches are from all over the world, some only being found in Africa and some only being found in Australia in the wild. Canaries actually used to be used in mines. They would alert the men to harmful gases Basically, the bird would die, giving the men time to get out and save their own lives. But it is an important reminder that they are sensitive creatures and you need to be very careful around them. There should be no candles or air fresheners used in the same room with them, and you also shouldn't use hairspray products and hard cleaning products such as Clorox around them. A lot of people like to put the cage in the kitchen, however, this is not always a good idea if the kitchen is not well ventilated. And the same goes for finches. They are also very delicate and you have to be careful about the air around them. Canaries and finches can live anywhere between 10 to 15 years. So they may be considered an easy pet to keep, but be aware that you will need to provide them with care and a home for a very long time. Canaries are not hard to find, but they usually do cost a lot more than some of the popular finches that are often found in pet stores. Society finches and zebra finches are usually some of the cheapest to buy. Personally, I don't like to have zebra finches because they can become very territorial and they will often chase canaries and other birds. But there are plenty of other finches that can be kept with canaries. Finches and canaries should never be kept with small parrots such as parakeets or lovebirds or cockatiels. They should always be with canaries and finches. I have five canaries that are housed with cordon bleu finches and goldian finches and they all get along very well. Many finches do have the same care requirements as canaries, so it's very easy to care for them all together. There are a lot of sources that say that canaries can be kept alone because they are solitary in nature. However, I disagree with keeping these birds in total isolation. While they may not fly around in large flocks, they will come across other birds day to day as they're flying around. So it's not natural to keep them in complete isolation. And it is a consensus that almost all the other finches should be kept in groups. Canaries and finches should be kept in a large cage about 20 inches wide and 16 inches tall. Of course, the more birds that you have, the bigger the cage will need to be, but this would work for two birds. The cage should be long instead of tall. Don't give them a tall cage and never get them a cage that is round. A long cage will give them plenty of room to fly back and forth, which is what they like to do. Round cages make flying from perch to perch very difficult for them. There should be a few perches in the cage, but don't clutter the cage too much. They do enjoy space to be able to jump around and fly from perch to perch. Some finches can be housed outside, however many do not tolerate extreme temperature changes. Canaries can usually be kept outside. But before you consider housing your birds outside, there's a lot of planning that needs to go into building an outdoor aviary to make sure that they can survive all of the elements. It is usually much easier to just keep them in a bird cage in the house. Seeds are going to be the main food for canaries and finches, but make sure you do buy the right kind and that it's not too big for them to be able to eat. The seed mixes that you buy should be meant for canaries. And if it's meant for canaries, it will also work for finches. Canaries and finches should also be offered fresh vegetables every day. My favorite to feed them is any type of salad green, as well as peas, broccoli, cauliflower, and small pieces of pear and apple. Once a week, they should be given small pieces of hard-boiled egg. This food here is a supplement that is also something really important to offer them. This doesn't need to be fed every day, but it's great to offer it a couple of times a week. And you can just mix it in with their vegetables. Some species of finches require more protein than others. Cordon bleu finches, for example, love getting mealworms every day. Bowls like this are usually what people offer their birds seeds in. However, I really dislike these bowls for canaries and finches because so much of the food gets wasted when you're using these. The birds take the shells off of the seeds and basically leave the shells there 
on top of the rest of the food, and all of the holes get left on top of the seeds that are still good. So with a layer of hole over the seeds, the birds will often think that there isn't any more food there, and as a result, you'll throw away a lot of good food by using these holes. I really like to use these outdoor bird feeders for canaries and finches, even inside the house. They are able to get to their food, but they do not leave the holes on top of their food, and these feeders pretty much eliminate that whole problem. So this is something very cost effective because you won't be wasting so much food. Canaries and finches love to take baths. Water bowls do need to be changed out daily because they will usually make quite a big mess with it. All of my birds bathe at least once a day, so I like to keep two types of water available for them. I keep water in this bowl so that they can get in it and take a bath if they want to. But since they spill so much water when they are taking a bath, sometimes they completely empty it before I'm able to refill it. So a water like this allows for them to have fresh water all the time that they haven't bathed in and they can't dump it out like the other bowl. And for this water, this connects outside of the cage and just this little green part goes through the bars. So it's very easy to take off and to put back on and keep their water clean. It's really easy to keep your canaries and finches happy and entertained with simple toys. Birds absolutely love a swing perch and these are easy to find in pet stores. I also keep a small bag of hay hanging in their cage. This is a little hay bag that I made myself for this purpose. You can easily make one with burlap or other materials. They'll usually eat a lot of the seeds off of the hay and they just like to spend the day pecking at it and getting into it and it just really gives them something to do. A lot of the hay does get wasted but they're happy and entertained so it's worth it. These seeds are also great to give them. It encourages them to forage and you can even stick it in your hay bag. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it helped you care for your birds or it helped you if you're thinking about getting some. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more animal videos. I put out new animal videos every week and for questions you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you guys next week!